I've come to a quiet residential street near Newport. In the back garden of one of these houses, a wish has become a dream come true for many others. Mike Jones used to work in IT, but he's now a full-time carer for his wife, Rachel. At home and needing something more to occupy his thoughts, he turned to his passion for cycling. And that passion and drive has helped many, many people through his Free Bikes for Kids community project. It started with one bike, which I bought from a charity shop uh, for, two, for £2.50. And um, I cleaned it up, put it on the internet, free to a good home. And I was being contacted by people for a week after it had gone, saying, are there any more? So I just thought maybe there was something in it and put something on social media saying, has anybody got any spare bikes? You know, you're stepping over bikes in your shed or whatever. And it started a flood basically and it's been a constant flood for 18 months. People bring me spares, they bring me whole bikes, they bring me um, really poor condition bikes which need restoring but um, occasionally I, I get given some lovely you know, some stuff that looks like it's brand new that people have just they've been outgrown and then people are just stepping over them in the garage and and it's, it's you know, somewhere to take them. So the idea then is that you bring these bikes back to life and, yeah. and pass them on to someone else. Yeah. Who specifically benefits? It's initially it was, I started it initially as a Christmas project the year before last, and that was just to help families through Christmas. So I was just being contacted by individual families. But then since then, it's social worker referrals, local schools, um, foster homes, their local charities, all, all kinds of things really. How many do you reckon that have, have passed through these, I w these gates? <laughs> I, know, I know how many have gone out. Set Go on. Just, oh, just under 750 have gone out to new homes. By the middle of this summer now, it should be 1,000 with, with what is ordered at the moment. And at the beginning um, of the COVID situation, I was getting a lot of requests from nurses and NHS care workers that would normally use public transport and they were looking for safe means of isolated transport. So loads of the adult bikes we're going to nurses and carers and that kind of thing at the start of things. A lot of the kids don't get the opportunities, so the schools will offer a proficiency course, ask who wants to do it, 20 hands go in the air, ask who's got a bike and 20 hands go back down again. So that's where it comes in Yeah. for the schools. There must be a certain sense of satisfaction in what you're doing. There knowing. is, yeah, there is. It's, it's, it's a, yeah, I mean, Obviously, being a full-time carer leaves me with a fair bit of downtime, and it was yeah, it's gone from being something to fill a few hours to uh, something huge. Local support has been incredible, with help coming from all sorts of people and organisations, like Tiny Rebel Brewery. Bradley Cummings is the chief executive and has offered to help store some of the bikes which are taking over Mike's back garden. You know, we're really excited about you know the the prospect and the future of, of what Mike. Um, and the gang can do. And how can you work together? What are your plans for the future? So I think what we can bring to the table is really storage. You know, as you can see behind us, you know, we've got a big brewery, lots of space. You know, Mike's really struggling on that front. And, you know, the, the project that he's doing, you know, it's really picking up pace now. Question is then, are you a cyclist yourself? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah, I'm a cyclist. You know, we've been involved in loads of charity stuff, and not just myself, but, you know, the brewery. And yeah, and recently I've been teaching my four-year-old daughter to, to ride a bike, you know, and just to see the joy that that sort of brings her and the reward, you know, it's great to know that Mike's bringing that same sort of feeling to, to kids around Newport. And find out exactly how some of those kids from Newport react when Mike drops off a delivery at their school after the break. earlier, Mike Jones's Free Bikes for Kids community project has really taken off and there's great support for his work. And more and more people are taking to two wheels as the sport continues to grow in popularity. Dan Coast is from Cycling Wales, which is also backing Mike's dream to help youngsters and those who want to own a bike. Dan, I think it's safe to say that cycling clearly is something of a passion for people, isn't it? And it's really taken off recently. 
Yeah, the, it, it's one of the good things to come out of the pandemic. Uh, we saw in the in the first few sort of weeks when gyms were shut and uh, restrictions on leisure activities, uh, there was a Google search and cycling increased by 300%. We've uh, we ran out of entry level bikes that you can buy in shops. Are people like Mike? Uh, it's just running through their veins, isn't it? Uh, you can see why people do get so obsessed with their bikes and cycling. Yeah, and then Mike's project has just been great for the whole sort of community getting behind it. Not just cyclists, but people living in the local area, donations of bike, equipment, um, to all help the project, um, which just wouldn't be sort of possible with some other sports, for sure. Welsh Cycling has been lending its support by helping transport some of the bikes to schools. We recognise that a lot of children have bikes, but when they, they stop working, it's a throwaway society we live in, and that's clear by the number of bikes that are here, which with Mike, with only spending five minutes on them, can get them back into full working order and back um, having another child enjoy using them. It seems that Wells is turning into a cycling nation. Plus, of course, we've got the Geraint effect, haven't we? The Geraint Thomas, who really, really put cycling on the map over the last few years. Yeah, um, it, it's not, not just him. We've got sort of 12, uh, 12, 13 sort of riders that have dominated on the international scene for the last 10 to 15 years. But yeah, Garrett Thomas is, in terms of road cycling and, and putting Wells on the, on the cycling map, that definitely had a big impact for sure. It's a little bit of a thrill knowing that possibly one of these bikes could end up you know, with the next Geraint Thomas, the next champion. Who knows, that's certainly what we hope. Yeah, a child can pick up one of these bikes, enjoy cycling, come to the velodrome, and yeah, fast forward 10, 15 years, they're Olympic or uh, Tour de France champion. Today, Mike is getting ready to deliver some bikes to local school High Cross Primary. The children in the early years need some new bikes to replace some older trikes. Just look at that excitement. Within seconds, the kids are happily cycling around the yard. Well, a quick word because you're absolutely inundated here, but I think that went rather well, didn't it? They have been so excited, honestly. It's the oh. best thing for yeah. them. They, yeah. they really needed it. Yes. They've been jumping up and down all morning. They really have. I've had. When has Bike Man come in since <laughs> nine o'clock this morning? So. Bike Man, I love it. Um, I can so see why Mike does it though, and, and you know, just to see their faces. I mean, the excitement is amazing, isn't it? It is absolutely amazing, and we are so grateful to him yeah. because it is something we couldn't provide without him. So. Yeah. So kind, it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, it, it's really lovely to see them so enthusiastic about being outside, and you, you never know, there could be some budding future Olympians here, couldn't there? There could be, and <laughs> I think you know, with the pandemic and everything, physical development yeah. and being outside is yeah. really, really important for yeah. them. So it's an excellent opportunity for them. The problem you've got now is who has which helmet, who has the stabilisers, who has the blue one. Good luck on that one. <laughs> they'll manage. We've, we've had about two bikes before that they've had to share, so they're Aww. pretty good at sharing. Yeah. Well, I think, uh, yeah, well, happy days. Definitely. <laughs> And then you see that. Exactly. Is that it for yeah, you? Yeah, that's what that's what entirely what it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's what makes it uh, makes yeah. it work. They've asked you for more. And more bikes. Yeah. And more bikes. Yeah, bikes for the older kids. So. Oh, well, that just that's the next thing. Yeah. Says it all, doesn't it? Look at this little lady. <laughs> <laughs> From the city to the coast now, here's Rob, who's out with the marine medics.